What's up guys? Grim here, playing the Primalist today. I hope you guys are playing it as well because the Primalist is pretty fun. Uh, it's definitely a lot different than what you're used to, so uh, it's a different type of gameplay with the focus bar and all that. Uh, mages that often manage their charge bars may be a little more accustomed to it and stuff, but it takes some getting used to, just to put it plainly. Uh, especially with me playing a uh, rogue and, you know, warrior all the time it's it's quite a bit different uh the the specs can be a lot like warrior or rogue as in like the dervish and stuff but you still have to rely on the focus bar in order to do all that but i'll kind of get into all that in just a minute i want to show off a shirt that i bought uh show the nerd in me here i'm a little bit of a beatles fan as you can see and then at the bottom you have star wars yes awesome awesome shirt right here i absolutely love it i'm gonna be wearing it all the time it's probably gonna be my favorite shirt all that stuff big star wars fan i like the beatles quite a bit so i i seen this uh I seen it on Facebook where it was being posted on Facebook. I was like, oh, I got to buy it. I got to buy it. I went ahead and ordered it. And, uh, yeah, I love it. Um, but, all right, so let's go into uh, what all is going on with the Prime List. Um, let's go ahead and uh, talk about how it, right off the bat, I went ahead and used my auto level 60 boost because I had it from whenever I got the Ultimate Nightmare Tide Edition and I never used it so a year later all of a sudden I get to use it and level up my uh, Prime List right off the bat and I thought it was so cool you know I'd never used any of those potions before I thought about using it on the EU servers to uh, you know auto level 60 a warrior but I never ended up doing it so yeah I did it here and then as you can see, I opened up my weekly patron box and I ended up getting a sword that's a lot better than the sword they gave me for auto level 60. So I was like, heck yeah, man. So just as a kind of a, a fun thing to do, I went ahead and did the newbie lands here as a level 60, you know, with this pretty strong sword for the level and all that and just ran around one shot and everything. It's it's a different feeling than if I just went to a, a new zone or something like that and then, you know, started hitting low level stuff because th I've leveled up a lot of characters and, you know, this stuff is not real fast for me. Like normally I'm used to hitting these things multiple times and look at the buggy cloak there. <laughs> I'll, I'll show it again in just a second, but really I... I didn't want to play too much on the first day. Uh, I, I basically logged in for the first time today on Thursday because I want to avoid all the buggy stuff. And uh, as you can see, it's still in there. Look at the cape there. But, you know, it, that's how it goes on release days and all that. So I knew there would probably be down times and all that. You know, it was pretty wild that what all was going on. I heard that there was even like alarms at the uh, Tryon Studios where they had to evacuate for a bit right in the middle of patching time. So that is crazy timing. And I thought it was hilarious one shot and all this stuff here, you know, of course you expect it, but I'm used to fighting this stuff with a level six or something. So it's a completely different experience. But um, yeah, the Primalist is a lot of fun. And if you guys haven't tried it out, go ahead and go to the Rift store and get you the Primalist. I can't remember how much it is, but uh, it is a premium class. Um, the, uh, you would think that me being a warrior all the time and liking the rogue and stuff like that, that it would be the dervish and berserker that I would like the most. But right now I'm probably having the most fun with Vulcanus and Typhoon because Vulcanus and Typhoon are quite a bit more, I, I don't want to say simple, but, uh, less management, so to say, because take for instance, if you play a dervish, uh, the goal of it is to go from one end of the focus bar to the other. So you have to go all the way on the fury side. Then you go all the way onto the cunning side of the focus bar using your abilities. And that's, what's going to give you all your damage bo uh, boosts. And then you're going to go out and smash stuff like one shot, a bunch of stuff, but I don't know. I, I don't like having, uh, that much management like it because I'm so focused on my movement on my characters. Like, uh, I like to look at what I'm fighting, 
and have everything uh, like muscle memory on your on my fingers. That way I can just go and you know hit my uh, builders, my finishers, my bursts, my leap backs, or whatever else that I have. I know where they are for the most part, and you know it, it's watching my movement from there and focusing on. Uh, my placement and stuff like that, especially in PvP, movement is so important. Um, but with the focus bar that you have to manage all the time, uh, I'm not enjoying it as much. I like the Vulcanus and the Typhoon because you're basically working your way all the way to one end of the bar using uh, big burst abilities and then work your way back over. So it's not like uh, you're using builder, builder, build, uh, builder all the way to one end and then builders all the way to the other end and then using big abilities. You know, that, that's too much, so to say. Uh, a lot of people will like playing that kind of stuff with the Dervish, especially because the rewards are going to be there. You know, if you, if you work the focus bar all the way to the Fury side and then go all the way over to the Cunning side and then hit these big burst abilities, it's going to be a lot of damage. So, yeah, the payoff is there if you want to uh, do that much management. Um, I find that I just want to do good movement and stuff. So I'm like, all right, so uh, the Vulcanist is cool. You can basically uh, uh, put up your uh, precision, uh, I forget what it is, precision shot or something like that, bolt, precision, precision bolt and uh, it'll do a uh, damage increase and then you can hit your molten wave and it's a channeled ability and it'll it'll uh, push you into the cutting side or real close to harmony and then you can use a uh, harmony ability to push yourself back over to fury so you're basically going back and forth between the two you know channeled ability and then use your uh, uh, harmony ability and it'll push you back into fury and then you can use your uh, molten wave again and then just keep your uh, precision bolt up. So it, it's it's pretty cool gameplay like that. And then you have big burst abilities. So uh, Vulcanus is really cool. Um, and also the Typhoon. Typhoon is real fun because you're just working your way towards one side of the bar as well. And then uh, it's got all these AOE abilities. I think the Typhoon is the funnest of all to me. I mean, I'm just having a great time with it. If only it would hit a single target a little bit harder because it's all AOE attacks, which is cool. It's really cool that you have all AOE attacks. But if just one monster gets on you, it's like, come on, kill it come on man you know because the aoe attacks of course are not going to hit as hard and um yeah the the typhoon you basically uh use like a builder to go all the way over i think it's to the cunning side on uh with the typhoon and then you can hit uh like a, a dot ability uh, that will AOE a dot out to everybody and then you hit big burst and it'll use these abilities and push you back over in a fury and then you uh, work your way back up to cunning big burst abilities you know it's just so cool and the entire time you got these dots going on that AOE dotted everything up so uh, Typhoon is is it's the bee's knees man it, it is it is very cool uh, and Vulcanus is very cool too um, of course, the uh, Dervish is probably going to be the most popular because of how much damage it's going to be doing because it's super strong uh, single target damage. And Berserker is, you know, it, it's it's boss whenever it comes to hitting AoE as well. So uh, I'm not too sure how good it's balanced right now because the big debate right now is that uh, range classes are hitting just as hard as melee classes, if not harder, and they're at range so you know hopefully that it's balanced good enough to where the melee are hitting a little bit harder because they got to be up in the front lines and stuff like that and then range will be not too far behind but they got the advantage of range fighting so hopefully they balanced it right i'm not too sure i i haven't done uh, done that much testing with it as in you know running parses on dummies and stuff i've I've learned how to play all of the specs because I ended up doing a, a Primalist video for Tryon, which you guys should be seeing soon. And um, so yeah, if you haven't tried out Primalist, give it a try. Uh, Titan, you know, you guys know I'm not much of a tank player, so I can't really comment too much on that. Uh, I know it's Primal Avatar is awesome. 
It, you pop that and it'll heal you 100% of your health. And if there's any overhealing done, say you use it at 80% of life, and then boom, you pop it and it heals 100% of your life, it'll actually put a shield on you, uh, an absorption shield. And yeah, any overhealing done will apply to that absorption. And that lasts for 15 seconds and the entire time it's got a heal over time going on you so it's building up that shield even more so yeah that that's pretty awesome right there you know i wonder if you can uh i've played other games where you could take a, a tanking class and turn it into a really good dps class i wonder if you can take the titan and like you know pour all your points into dervish or something like that uh outside of uh the 31 points in the titan and see if you can't come up with a pretty good DPS build that has that kind of a, a, a primal avatar to it. That would be crazy. So, I don't know. It sounds awesome in PvP if it worked. I doubt it will. You know, they won't let you get that powerful in PvP, but we'll see. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's just me rambling yet again. I'm making a habit of these rambling videos, but uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm starting to level my prime list. I waited until after release day in order to do it. Uh, I didn't jump on there because I figured servers would be down. I figured there would be too much load on all the quests going on and all that. And I noticed that whenever I ran around in Gaboro Reef as a level 60, there wasn't too many people there. So as in, you know, the areas that I was starting out in. So it's pretty nice. Uh, I imagine all the people that bought prime list right off the bat were uh supercharged and going full force on on day one so yeah i'm a little bit behind them but i'll catch up but i'm looking forward to the pvp as a primalist uh, it sounds really fun all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video as usual my name is grim and i'll see you next time